Yeah. Hi guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So I'm excited to do this video and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the Givenchy large shopper tote. It's an all leather tote bag. I did an unboxing, which I will link somewhere in this video if you guys want to check it out. I kind of talk more about it, go in depth, and kind of my thoughts behind purchasing it. So I've been using the bag now for a couple months, I think. I got it a little while ago and I've just now kind of gotten into the groove of like really using it um, a lot. I go through phases where, with my bags where I want like a huge bag or I just want like a really small crossbody bag. So I want to share with you guys how I'm liking it, how it's been holding up and what I have in this huge bag. So let me show you the bag first. You guys can see what I'm talking about. It is ginormous. I love it. It is definitely a huge open sack of a tote bag. You can fit a ton in it. It easily goes over your shoulder and is very comfortable to carry. So that's what it kind of looks like on. I do have this kind of full, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I actually have in the bag. Um, it's really, really great. It's been holding up really well. I'm very happy with it. It is heavy and I do have a lot in it, but the bottom is not like sagging down or giving out or anything like that. It's really held up really nicely so so far. Um, the straps are nice and thick and I just feel like it's a really well constructed bag. And I did get this on sale from Neiman Marcus. It was on sale on Neiman Marcus. I will link it down below if it's available. I know it will kind of come back in stock randomly and then go back out of stock. So I will put other sim like other Givenchy tote bags in the description box, but just to clarify, I did get that on sale, um, so it was a great buy. I really love it, and it's held up really well. So, the only thing that the bag comes with is, like, pocket-wise, is this little kind of pouch, and it's really great. You can detach it, but I just leave it in, and it has a nice zipper. It's a good size, and I usually keep my car keys and my phone in here so that I can easily find it because it is a gigantic like a hole. So I am just going to put this right here and start pulling stuff out of it. So I'll show you guys what I have in there. The first thing I have in there is my MacBook Air. This is a tiny one. It's very thin. I love this. This is what I take with me when I travel. I can edit and do everything on here. Um, this is a great like laptop. I really love it. I don't store anything on here. So this memory does fill up quickly. Like if you edit videos or do anything with like photographs or anything like that, I would highly suggest getting like an external hard drive or something like that. Just it doesn't hold a lot, but I don't keep anything on here. It's great. It's lightweight. It fits in my bag perfectly. And I've been really happy with that um, laptop. So the next thing I have is my Kate Spade wallet. It's a zipper wallet. It opens up like that. Has a fun little pattern on the inside of the wallet. You have card slots. I have stamps. I have my husband's address in there for his work trip. Um, a zipper compartment that you can put change in, but I never keep change in my actual wallet. Um, lots of Target receipts and club cards. And in the back, there's just another little pocket. I also have one of my favorite pens in here. This is tip. I really love it. I use this in my agenda all the time or if I have to write a check or anything like that. I love this wallet. I got it at the outlets. It's held up really nicely and I do like the hot pink color because I can easily find it in my purse. The next thing in my bag, I mean what mommy bag would be complete without some sort of like little critter or creature. This is my daughter's little unicorn. She loves these like tiny little beanies now. It's like so funny because we used to have these when we were little. So she's like into unicorns and like Doc McStuffins and Sophia and Pet Palace and all that kind of stuff. So this is one of the little guys in my bag. I always keep something in there just for in case she wants to play with something. Um, the next thing I have is this lip and lashes bag. This is really cute. This is Rebecca Minkoff. This is their Jody pouch. And I love these bags because they match the tote bag, but I travel with these all the time. And in here, I just have like the most random stuff. I have a notebook in there. This is from Target. I have lip gloss and lip liners. Lorac is my favorite. My Rimmel East End Snob. I love that. 
I have some Aleve, because we've been traveling. Eye drops and hand sanitizer are like a must. What else is in here? I don't have paper stuff. I have this little notepad thing from Target. Uh, tissues, a granola bar. This is a vegan Nugo granola bar. Some emergency. And then I have some more pens, another lip gloss, an eyebrow um, thing to do my eyebrows. That's from Smashbox. What else do I have in here? Oh, I have a backup charger. This is a little iHome charger you can plug in for like your cell phone. Cool, just dropped that. <laughs> I have my YSL powder. I keep this one in my purse just for touch ups. Um, this is in the shade number five. I don't even know if they still make this anymore, but I really do like that powder just to touch up. And then I have a mini little, this, I think this is a mini YSL brush from when I used to work at the counter like a long time ago. And then I have, can't be without this, my Vaseline little chapstick. And then I have a Tide to go pen in there. And some Altoids, the mini ones. So that's pretty much everything I have in here. This can travel with me from like purse to purse. And it holds like all of that miscellaneous junk that kind of just floats around your purse. And not only do I like to have everything like that in one spot, but I don't want like a lip gloss or eye drops or something like that spilling on my actual purse. So if it does leak or anything, even though I don't want to ruin this either because I do really like this bag, but I prefer for it to be in here and not in the actual Okay, so the next thing I have in my bag is just my cell phone. This is the 6, and I have this really cool, like, marble case on. It actually matches my laptop, but I love this case, and I'm going to link it down below because I, okay, was running around our, like, track, and I always like to do the stairs, like the stadium bleachers. They're, like, concrete stairs, so it's a really good workout to run up and down those, obviously, and for some reason, I was holding my phone. I normally have it in, like, an armband or, like, a little fanny pack thing that I wear. For some reason, I took it out, and, of course, as I'm running up the stadium stairs, my, like, right leg just went dead, and, like, my body was going up, and my leg just completely gave out on me, and it was, like, a log just attached to my body. So I tripped, like, a total klutz, okay, and landed with my phone on the corner of like the stair and just smashed it into the step and thank this case has been amazing but I always have a like a solid glass tempered screen protector on completely shattered the screen protector and thank god it saved my phone and then this case is awesome because it has like a squishy inside it's not just this plastic you take it off. I want to share this with you guys because I would have demolished my phone if not. And it has this plastic piece that kind of snaps onto the phone. So you have a jelly protector and then this hard outer case. And the phone just slips in and it really like saved my phone and it's cute too. So I absolutely love this and with the tempered glass, luckily it like saved my phone because this is not even like I just got this phone so I would have been really upset if I would have had a smashed thing or I'm like shocked it didn't bend in half honestly because all my body weight was like on the screen of the phone so I will link both of those down below because I'm pretty hard on those I go through those screens like nobody's business but they really are worth it to have on your phone okay the next thing I have is just a tiny little mini umbrella and this is so old like Oh my gosh, I don't even know when I got this. It's by Totes. It's really tiny. I like to keep it in there, especially with this crazy spring weather. It's good to have an umbrella. Um, and then, let's see what else I have in here. Another puppy. This is her miniature puppy. I have one of those. And then I have some multi-grain Cheerios for a snack. I have my car keys in there, which is a little fun tassel keychain. I also have, what do you know, two Target receipts. Oh, no, Target and the post office. Two receipts. I have a little kid bracelet. And then the last two things in here. So this is empty now. I think I have some change rolling around there that I need to put into this little container. The last little compartment thing I have is this little white Rebecca Minkoff zip pouch. And here I have change, ponytails, 
uh, two random cough drops, this little flossing stick, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But I love, I need to have these on hand for both my daughter and myself. The worst thing is like getting caught either in the rain or if it's hot, getting stuck without a ponytail is just like super annoying. And then the last thing I have are my sunglasses. These are the ones I'm using right now. They are the Gucci oversized square sunglasses. I always keep these in the case. I'm pretty like nuts about my sunglasses. They are the oversized square ones. I bought these last summer and I really like them a lot still. So, yep, those are my sunglasses. I love these. I like these a lot because they're very dark and they're really good for when you're driving because they do block out a lot of the sun. Uh, but I always try and put my nice sunglasses back in the case just to protect them. I used to work at like a sunglass shop when I was in college, so I love sunglasses and I definitely, if I'm going to invest in a nice pair like that, I want to keep them nice as long as possible. And yeah, I'm just super happy with this bag and I thought it might be fun to see what I have in there. I'm about to clean it out and get rid of all those receipts, so it was the perfect time to share with you guys what I have going on in there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Uh. Yeah.